Hi YouTube, hi. Um, this video is fairly straightforward, just the things that I, that I miss and things that I don't miss about um, being male. Um, so I'm going to start with the things that I kind of miss occasionally, like not very often. Um, I suppose the first thing is, I think it's that kind of, I suppose you'd call it like male bonding, um, typical guy behaviour. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I suppose like in my own way, um, back in the day, I was quite, um, I guess I was kind of quite a stereotypical guy in some ways, um, or I behaved like one. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, I used to go out with a lot of my friends and we'd all kind of get drunk and put each other in headlocks and do stuff like that that guys do. And, you know, just see, uh, like going on stag weekends and things like that. I mean, my stag weekend was the most incredible, one of the best weekends of my life. You know, it was so crazy. We went to Bratislava and... Um, <clears throat> We went like and shot machine guns and we went go-karting and we did like, you know, like full on sort of stuff like guys do um, on stag weekends. Um, and I can kind of still, you know, get involved a bit in things like that. Um, I've reached a point now where apparently, according to my sort of friends, officially I'm not going to get invited on any more stag weekends. Um, which is probably a good thing because um, it would be a bit weird to be honest um, and I don't know I think maybe I've crossed the line um, but that is something that I do miss a bit um, you know and I can still you can still kind of you know go out and have fun with a group of friends but I do um, you know I do sometimes you know lament that that time is something in the past and you know it's different now um personal safety um i mean i never really used to worry about personal safety before um i guess partly maybe because i live in the countryside and you don't have to worry about it um but then when i lived in cities when i was at university um again i was just pretty young and stupid i suppose um, but now, you know, if I'm in a city alone at night or just certain kind of certain kinds of situations when I have to think about it. And that's kind of something when you think, yeah, you know, I didn't <clears throat> I didn't really ever have to worry about this. Not that someone could have just really mugged me really easily anyway. Um, but, you know, it wasn't an issue. Um, so that's something. Um being able to run fast and my strength, um, despite being, you know, quite flimsy, um, I've always, you know, had quite good kind of core strength and good strength before. And I've really noticed, um, you know, that I can't lift things or things that I would pick up before that would seem like not heavy. Now I pick them up and I'm like, you know it's that's kind of again it's not something I really miss but it's something that yeah I'm kind of aware of it um, <clears throat> and being able to run faster I used to be able to run really really quickly um, in terms of like long distance um, I'm a really keen runner and um, <clears throat> when I was doing, if, I, there's other videos I've done about this, but like a few summers ago, um, I was doing um, six minute miles when I was like in really good shape. I mean, I was training like all summer and I was running so much because um, I was just going through the first year of my transition and it was quite hard and running really helped me get through it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I can't do six minute miles I think the best I can do now is six and a half six minute thirty which is still pretty quick but I can't get past that like 
six minute thirty. I can't, you know. Um, so that's something that's kind of, you know, a bit annoying. <clears throat> um, and then I don't know. I think the other thing really is kind of, it's kind of like that sort of male swagger that guys have. Um, that I don't know. It's like being a bit cavalier and being. I don't know, like the way that you could treat a girl and I don't know, just in a really nice way and do things to be, I don't know what you'd call it really. Um, I suppose it's like being a bit chivalrous, I don't know, but it's that kind of way of being about yourself. Um, and just, I don't know, I mean, I think I have, like, I've developed my own kind of female version of that now, which is, I suppose it's like a, <clears throat> it's not like trying to be sexy, but it's sort of how you come across. Um, and if you're trying to maybe, like, influence the situation or sort of trying to get things to go the way you want them to go it's like how do you sort of I suppose it's like charm you know like kind of male charm and how you can kind of use that and I suppose it's kind of adapted like I've adapted it now to you know suit me as a female but um, I do kind of occasionally miss um, I don't know it's like a nostalgic feeling for the way I perhaps used to be sometimes um, so yeah, I kind of, you know, occasionally I kind of miss that, but not that I think, God, I want to go back to it, um, just that, you know, I'm aware of it. Um, and that's kind of it, really, <laughs> um, which brings me, I've not got long left, and brings me to things I don't miss. <laughs> um, being able to pee standing up, <laughs> like, no, don't actually miss that at all. Um, <clears throat> okay if you're out in the countryside or like going for a run um, it's not that convenient but you know and oh my god like having to stand next to guys in the urinal <clears throat> like shoulder to shoulder that is something I don't miss at all uh, it's really I really used to hate that um, <clears throat> being able to be aggressive I know women can be aggressive but I mean, I was never an aggressive guy. I'm not an aggressive person. Um, I can be assertive, you know, especially now I'm a lot more assertive, but being aggressive and being like, oh, I can't, you know, let that kind of like inner anger out. Um, no, that's never been me, so I don't miss that. Um, <clears throat> being able to drink a pint. Um, I used to drink pints of like beer all the time when I was um you know before and I did find that quite hard initially because I'd go drinking or when I go to the pub or whatever you know go to meet friends and I'd want to order the drink I wanted to order but I knew I couldn't or I shouldn't um and now I don't miss it because I've got used to drinking like a half which is like you know now I actually find my resistance to alcohol has gone down quite a lot I don't know if it's because I drink less but certainly it's gone down so now like if I drank the same amount of halves as I would drink before in pints um I'd be just as drunk um I mean it's quite funny sometimes with friends like old friends I've not seen for ages and they'll go to get me a drink and I'll be like yeah can you get me um get me half of, of that or something and they'll like come back with a pint just for a joke just because they know that I hate to stand in a pub and hold a pint of beer um but I don't yeah I don't miss like you know don't miss that now um having to listen to final thing um having to listen to endless chat about football and other sports but mainly football um, I have never enjoyed football 
I find it so boring and um, <clears throat> a lot of my friends I mean like I'm really lucky that a lot of my guy friends we go back to primary school like since we were like seven years old six years old um, maybe even younger than that some of them um, so we've all grown up playing sport together but um, like loads of them are really into football and they just talk about football quite a lot and I suppose it's like when you're in male company as a guy and everyone's talking about football it's just like you can't really be like guys can we please talk about well I would actually say you know guys can we please talk about something other than football um, and they just carry on talking about football um, but now it's like no one would expect a girl to kind of endure that so I don't I don't have to listen to it and I really don't miss it I'm it's like good nobody ever talks to me about football you know as if it's something that I'm interested in or I like or I know anything about which I don't um, so yeah that's kind of in a nutshell um, the things I do and don't miss I hope it was interesting and um, I'm got lots of really cool ideas for videos so I'm gonna start really firing them out and I really want to help try and build my channel up and get some more subscribers so um, yeah please like share my videos tell your friends about them put them on social media anything um, but yeah just carry on watching and um, I hope you'll like the ones that I'm gonna make um, there's some quite cool ones so um, yeah see you guys soon bye